what is going on guys and welcome back to another video in this video we're gonna talk about how to properly direct link max bounty offers and to promote them without a landing page a website or anything like that all right so this is for all of you who are interested in basically taking an offer and promoting on a paid traffic source obviously you can promote any offer you want on a free traffic source but on the paid one it's a little bit trickier and so you definitely want, want to watch this video very, very carefully and not skipping anything because, you know, there's a lot of little details you have to know uh, in order to, to do it correctly, this method, all right? So the first thing you have to understand is that when it comes to Max Bounty, right, if we are basically looking at different offers, um, there's, you know, 90% of these offers, you're going to have a lot of problems direct linking on places like Facebook and even Google Ads. Bing Ads and Quora, they're a lot more lenient. And so you can definitely get away with direct linking some of the offers. And so knowing that, the next uh, piece of the puzzle is that you have to understand what kind of offers you can basically direct link and which offers you cannot direct link. And so this is very important. I know a lot of people are going to be asking me questions about this and so I want to cover this right now. And so typically, you know, Max Bounty has a lot of offers, right? And there's all all kinds of categories, sweepstakes, surveys, travel, zip submits, downloads, e-commerce, things like that. And so what you want to do is you you probably are not going to be able to get away with direct linking a low CPA rate offer. And so let's say we go into sweepstakes or let's say we stay here and we basically sort this in ascending order, right? From smallest to largest. And if there is a small payout, what is this? There's no zero payout. Okay, so if there's like something like a 15 cent or any of these kind of payouts, you're not gonna be able to direct link this offer. And the reason for that is this is a lead generation offer. There are two reasons why you won't be able to direct link that on Bing ads. Number one is that it's probably a low quality offer. So this is Mac Flash update. It's a pure CPA marketing offer. It's a cost per action offer. They're not selling anything. This, so for instance, like let's open this offer so that I can show you what I mean. You're not gonna be able, and you're not gonna be able to, to link it on any traffic source, and not just Bing Ads, even Quora or anything like that. So look at this offer. Let's go open this landing page. Let's see if it allows us to open this landing page. So look at this landing page. You're, it's a basic kind of survey or sweepstakes or something like that, you're not gonna be able to direct link, right? And so just to uh, keep it very simple, you're not gonna be able to direct link uh, any offer that's less than, pretty much less than like $20, right? Because you're looking for offers that are not cost per action, but offers where they sell something, sell a product. And you're gonna find these offers uh, you're going to find them all over the place on Max Bounty, but typically you're going to have some in education, some in e-commerce as well. So if you go into e-commerce, you're going to have offers that basically pay, you know, a decent rate. And the reason they pay a lot higher than previously is because they're selling a product. They're not paying you for lead, lead that may never buy anything or lead that, you know, is just not going to materialize, right? They're paying you because you're making money for them, right? So you're selling a product, they're paying you a lead. And typically this lead is gonna be, uh, or whatever, this per lead, per, yeah, it's it's per lead, per sale. Uh, it's kind of the same thing when, it, when we're talking about a high number such as this one. And typically they're paying you this amount because you're helping them sell something. So usually sometimes they pay higher amount per lead than the actual sale of the product, sale price of the product. Sometimes it's a little bit lower. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. But the point is you want to go, go for these offers. Now, you do not want to go for something like, yeah, you can even go for this. Comfortable luxury mattress. It's a physical product. There are some, you're going to get in some of the other categories, you're going to get very high CPA rates, like in Bitcoin. So if we're going to financial, you're going to have $500, etc., $680. You're not going to be able to promote these kinds of offers because it's not a physical product. It's it's basically a registration on the site or something like that. In order to promote these offers, you, you need to do something extra, all right? So what I want to focus on is this educational offer. So if I do search, I go to education, and uh, we have these offers. Actually, excuse me, I wanted to talk about e-commerce offers, but educational offers, you can promote that as well. And so if we go into e-commerce and we sort this in descending order, 
you're gonna see really nice offers and what makes us really nice for promoting on Bing ads it's a physical product. People know what it is that they can, we can describe it using keywords, right? It's a lot easier. And so I actually went ahead and I found an offer that we can promote. And this is especially applicable uh, with the current situation that we're in right now, right? Is the Live 10 Pro Thermometer CPS. It's just a thermometer. Uh, we're getting 45 per lead. Let's go and open this landing page. They actually allow worldwide traffic, but we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna show you what you need to do. So let's go open this landing page and see what it looks like. And so we got the landing page opened up. It's a very simple landing page. Uh, it has these basically, um, it has the, the main benefits as the picture. Uh, it also has pricing. It has, um, and basically a checkout, right? It's a very simple landing page. It's just, it basically redirects you to the order. And I assume, that this is what's gonna happen. So if we pick, let's say we do search, we do raw link, we do search, and we only have we only have one landing page, right? And this is actually the main landing page. Now they give us some restrictions, no brand bidding, and that's fine. We're not gonna be bidding on this brand. Contamination free, learn instantly your body temperature, offer converts and complete a sale. This offer does not accept Brazil traffic, no brand bidding, and that's it. That's the only campaign. So we can copy this and we can just roll with it. Right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to create a campaign in, in Bing, right? And you have to kind of know how to do this correctly uh, in order to not have any problems with Bing, okay? And before you actually create a campaign on Bing, I highly, highly recommend is that you use something like Rebrandly. They have a free plan. You can basically sign up for free and you can use it for redirects. Now, not only do I recommend Rebrandly, but I actually recommend going out and actually buying a custom domain and this is going to be a domain like it doesn't need to be .com it could be you know .io or one of these other vanity domain names and it's only going to cost you a couple of dollars uh, per year right they're super cheap it's like i bought a couple of domains for like three dollars per year that i'm using to promote my some of my campaigns and then you can sign up for rebrandly it's for free and you can use that domain to do redirects, okay? So if you don't want to do redirects inside your uh, registrar, your domain registrar, it's really easy to do redirects here. And you can track traffic, and it's a really nice. And they have a free, a very generous free plan, so you can, you know, enter URL. So instead of basically going on Max Bounty, copying this link, putting it into Rebrandly, because uh, the only thing you're going to get back is you're going to get something like this, right? You're going to get this link, right? And in my opinion, it's a lot better to go to Bing with a domain name like, you know, greatthermometer.io or something like that, than something like this, right? And it's going to have the same redirect, same everything. So that is my, and obviously it's your choice. You can do what you want to do. I'm just telling you that in my opinion, it's, it's definitely worth it, okay? Domain is a couple of bucks a year, and then this is a free plan, and you're going to have a custom domain, right? Because you're, you'll are you be able to basically uh, set up an account here, enter your newly bought domain name, and, and use that to uh, do everything correctly, all right? So once we did that, we're going to go into Bing, and I'm, and I'm going to show you the entire campaign structure so that you don't have any questions or you're not confused about anything, okay? So we're going to click on Create Campaign. I'm going to do visits to my website. And then we're going to name this campaign. I'm just going to call it C1. We're going to do a $10 per day daily budget. I want to do United States. They accept worldwide traffic, but I always start with United States. I enter that. We do United States. And then we scroll down. I want to target people in your targeted locations, not people searching. I want to do English. I want to save and go to the next step. And then this is where you have to come up with keywords. This is something called an ad group because you have campaign settings. Then you have an ad group, ads and ad extensions and budget and bids. So you need to think about different keywords, right, that, that describe uh, what you're doing here, that describe this thermometer, okay? And a couple of ways of kind of going, right? You can bid on these keywords. So we're going to go and we're going to copy all of this. And we're going to go back and we're going to put it in here, okay? And so we're going to say contamination-free thermometer, okay? We're going to say um, learn, I don't know, like learn body temperature, okay? We're going to remove all of this. And we're going to see what Bing gives us, okay? So Bing... Actually, let's do this body thermometer. 
thermometer. And let's see what Bing tells us if we enter that. And so they're basically telling us random stuff. And this is not, actually, we need to remove this. We're going to copy and paste this. And let's see. Okay, they're not telling us anything. I'm going to show you a shortcut in order to find uh, very quickly. You want to Google for this and you see ads. So we Google for the right thing and you want to go. And so you want to go into one of these results here, right? You want to click on that link and hopefully these are going to be some of the top links. You want to click on it and you want to take this and you want to take this back to Bing and enter it as the, uh, as the URL for the website. Okay, and let's see what it, what it tells us. Okay, so here we go. Human temperature, normal body temperature, basal body temperature, temperature monitoring system, right? So now you're getting really good ideas, okay? Uh, you don't want uh, any of these things. Yeah, you can even go further and, and like list different diseases and things like that. But I don't know if I want to go to that level. So you can do something like measure normal body temperature, right? You want the verbs, right? We have... We have learned body temperature, measure normal body temperature, um, good thermometer, right? Thermometer, okay? We have good body thermometer or something like that. Then you want to think about some other combinations. This process takes time, right? This process is not, I'm just doing it quickly, but typically this can take a couple of hours really to kind of uh, get everything together. Good body thermometer, great, um, good by body thermometer something like this measure body temperature okay i'm just gonna create a few more um measure human temperature okay let's see basal body temperature measure basal body temperature we're gonna go into next we're gonna do so symptoms you don't want to do symptoms because this is advanced Good digital, you could do something like that. Obviously, it's not a meat thermometer, right? Uh, let's see, we have digital, and they have different ad groups, right? And, you know, some of these, they're not really applicable to us, right? So we kind of want to skip over that. Disorder, yeah, we want to skip over that. And so we have a few here, right? We have enough, you can obviously, um, you can basically enter one of these into Google, and Google is going to tell you what it thinks. So we're going to enter it here. We're going to go back here and look at different results. Body temperature chart. So you can even do something like this. Body, you can bid on this keyword and see if you get any sales. You can bid on it because it's a, uh, they're looking for the chart, but they're, they might be also looking interested in the thermometer. All right, so I have some here. We're going to do this. I'm going to call this ad group one. We don't have a website URL and we're going to save and go to the next step. And here is where we need to create the ad. We create the ad and we have the final URL. Now the final URL is going to be the domain you bought. Okay. It's not going to be the, the main URL. It's going to be the domain you bought. And that's going to be something like great thermometer. This is what's going to be listed here. And that is why you don't want max bounty to be listed there. Thermometer that code, that CO or something like that. It's looking for a reliable, need a good, check out our product or something like this. And then you have more ad text here. You can add it below and I recommend doing it. It's a required field. Uh, and you basically go here and take one of the benefits here. Contamination free. And you can go here, contamination free thermometer that works great or something like that then you have another uh, add text you can fill that out and that's all you have to do right now we have the campaign completely done we can hit save and then we have one ad done okay and so what i would recommend is creating multiple ads so that you can work on different angles right remember they have different benefits here and so the reason they do that is because they they want to basically uh, showcase really nice benefits and benefits are what's is it, kind of what is selling right it's the benefits that sell uh, not the features right so you have to keep that in mind so we have fast scan time suitable for everyone no contradictions to use frequently uh, things like that and so you can try creating different ads based on the benefits right because these are some amazing benefits right one second per scan that's amazing learn instantly 
Like, I don't even know they can do that. One second. Uh, contamination free. I don't even know they were. Some of them were contaminated. So that's probably not as applicable for me. Uh, to use no contraindications. The only thermometer needed. So I would say like my favorite benefit would be something like this, like this, and like this. So these three ones, contamination free, I suppose also is an important benefit. And that's what we're going to do. Now, site link extensions, uh, they're basically links to different parts of your site. Since we're linking directly, we don't have to bother with this. Price extensions is a good one, right? So I'm a big fan of listing the price. And the reason for that is that because we're bidding on keywords, we don't want people just to come in and looking around and, you know, getting to the price point, you know, the price on the website and then deciding it's too much for them, right? We want to basically say that it's $90, starts at $99, okay? $99 is the one, right? We have here the prices, $99. You want to say that, you want to basically specify that on the ad somewhere. You don't have to, but it's a good idea to do that. And so... That is how you do it, right? Now, if you go back to our campaign management, you can basically add the new price extension. You can do that here, and you can basically type in the header description. Price qualifier is going to be up to or from, starting from. You put your USD here, and you put something like $97 or $99 per unit, final URL, and all of that. And that's basically going to appear below the ad. You're going to see, when you, when you Google for different things, Pay attention to the prices inside the ad. That's actually not part of the ad. That's part of the, that's called the price extension. We have call out extensions. This is where you're listing all the benefits. So you can even list the benefits there as well. Structured snippet, we don't have to pay attention to that. Any of this, you don't have to pay attention. I would say price extensions and also the benefits, right? Call out extension. You can basically, you can basically copy all of these here and they're going to be listed, right? And these are benefits. You see them all the time when you're creating different, uh, when you are Googling for different ads, for different products, as well as when you're creating ads. It's a good idea to do that. You have 20 max and you can do that. And so you can create different extensions, different for different ads and things like that. And that's going to make your ad a lot more, uh, a lot more effective, right? So the most important thing when it comes to basically picking the right offer for direct linking is that you need a, a permissible traffic source, right? You need a lenient traffic source. Facebook, 95% of the offers, you're not going to be able to direct link on Max Bounty. Only some you'll be able to do that. Now, on Quora, you can, you, you can direct link, but only some of the offers. Bing allows you to direct link, but I highly recommend basically going out there and getting yourself a a custom domain, right? It's going to cost you like a couple of bucks. You can go on namecheap.com and it's, it's going to help you a lot. And then going somewhere like Rebrandly, like I talked about, basically going on Rebrandly, configuring that custom domain there. So it's going to redirect it. And, and as a result, instead of having this crazy link, right, this insane link, you're going to have a very clean custom domain and then it's going to set you apart from everybody else because only you have that domain. Everybody has these, these max bounty links, right? But only you have that domain, right guys? So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I really, really hope it helps you a lot. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, leave a comment below, let me know what you think, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.